For class today, you're going to want a light pair of dumbbells for upper body, and then one heavy dumbbell for upper body, and then a mat or a soft surface. We're going to go ahead and get warmed up, starting with some lateral lunges, alternate sides. If you want to kind of pulse a little bit and then step in, you can. Sit back on those heels. One more each side. Once you're done with that, go ahead and step it on in. Feet narrow, bend those hips. Nice flat back, palms facing forward. Just make that letter T with our arms. Pinch those shoulder blades together. One more, and hands come all the way down into the high plank position. Hold in here and plank, alternate arms for shoulder taps. One more each shoulder. Bring that right foot forward, nice wide lunge. Drop that back leg, lean into it. Keep that front heel down and switch. And switch, one more each side. Other leg. Back into plank, give me some mountain climbers. Three, two, one. Walk those hands to the feet. Slowly roll up. Big shoulder arm circles going back. And take it forward. Awesome job. I'm going to go ahead and show us our moves for our first circuit. So, our first move, we've got side hurdle hops. So you're gonna go over and back over. Just think of like a nice low hurdle, drive that knee up, over, and then back. And then you need to go under it, under and back. So alternate between those. Jump feet over, over, under, under. That's move number one. Move number two, we're going to take it down into our V sit or C sit position. It'll be up to you if you want to have your feet elevated off the ground or not. Sitting down, lean it back, knees bent, heels on the ground, or legs extended up for shoulder press with that one heavy dumbbell. So holding it horizontally, pressing straight up, but also contracting our core to keep our balance, especially if you're going to have your legs off of the ground and taking away that support. You want to make sure you have that good core stability. And then our last one, we're gonna stay down on the ground. You're gonna take your two light dumbbells, press them together like we would for a push press. We're gonna be in our kneeling position on both knees, extending the arms out, driving our car with those dumbbells pressed together. And again, we're in that kneeling position. We're not sitting down on our heels. We're up, contracting that core. And then as soon as we're done with that, we'll take our dumbbells down and then come right back for our hurdle hops and then our under under to bring it right back. So those are our moves. Round one, everything's a minute. Get everything set up and ready. Get yourself nice, good, and spaced. One minute on the clock. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. Over, over, under, under. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Over, over, get nice and low. You need to modify, just take the jump out of it. Drive the knee up and over. And then that under part, shouldn't need to modify that too much. Get that back down. Make 
Make sure you're getting that knee up. Really envision that you've got this small little fence or hurdle that you have to get over and you're not just stepping. Last three, two, one, very good. V sit, shoulder press with that one heavy dumbbell. Again, lean it back. Three, two, one. So you're here pressing or legs are up. Straight up overhead. Send those elbows straight down. Pull that core in tight. Don't hold your breath. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one, grab those light dumbbells, kneeling driver. Again, they're pushed together like a push press. Arms are fully extended out in front of us at chest level. Ready, set, begin. Just turning, that's all you're doing. Squeeze your glutes, contract your core whenever you need a break. Arms come down, take them back up when you're ready. If for some reason this is awkward for your wrist, I want you to drop it just to one dumbbell horizontally and try it that way instead. Halfway. Keep those arms straight, keep them out there. 10 seconds left, come on. Stay with me, I know it burns. Three, two, one. Weights down, bring it back up. We've got our hurdle over and unders. Three, two, one, here we go. 45 seconds on the clock. Set that pace and get going. Get that back flat. Act like there's barbed wire. You don't want to get cut, so get low. Get under it. Last five, three, two, one. V set shoulder press, one dumbbell. Three, two, one. Here we go. Knees bent, heels down, or heels up if that's what you're going for. Lean it back, make that letter C with your body. Last 10. Three, two, one. Heavy away, grab our lights up into that kneeling position. Shake those arms out, those shoulders. We need them here. Here we go. Three, two, one. Push and turn. Don't need to rush this. Take those dumbbells from straight up. 
So horizontal to all the way upside down the other way. Fully turning that wheel as far as it can go to the right, bring it back center, and then off to the left. Almost there, almost there. Four, three, two, one. Awesome job, way to push through. Bring it up. Last time for all three of these, back to our over and unders. Three, two, one, let's go. It's only 30 seconds. How many times can you go over and under this gate? Come on. Ten seconds left. Keep going. Over and under, over and under. Let's go. Three, two, one. Good job. Take a seat. Lean it back. Let's go. Use that core. Three, two, one. Begin. Ten seconds left. If you want that challenge, lift those heels up off the ground. Activate that core even more. Three, two, one. Kneeling driver. And then we get our first break right here. 30 more seconds of work. Three, two, one. Let's go. Halfway. Come on, keep those arms up there. I know you're tired, but push through with me. Five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, one minute break and then we'll be ready for our next moves. Keep taking your break. I'm gonna go over those moves. Our first one, shuffle and drop, and it's gonna be on my count. So you stay stationary where you're at, shuffling, running in place as fast as you can. I'm gonna say down, floor, whatever comes out of my mouth, hit the floor. I want you all the way down on the floor, stomach, chest, everything on the floor. When I say up, power yourself right back up into that quick shuffle again. So listen for my cues, you'll go down and up on my count. Our next one then, we need those light dumbbells back because we have iron crosses. Dumbbell in each hand, arms out. Feet a little wide of the shoulder width, not by much. Start in that star X position. As you drop down into that squat, arms come together. Stand back up, arms come apart. If you get to the point where you need a break, drop your weights and you keep going without weights, okay? And then our last one, we've got chair squats, narrow squats, and then the other leg chair. So you can either have that heel up, so toes down, heels up. It can be on your other foot, or you can come up to that full chair position where you're resting that ankle on that knee. You're gonna drop it low for five pulses. So you don't have to go all the way down low. Five pulses with that leg, set it down, five narrow. Stand all the way up so you get that nice back refresh. And then the other leg, five again, five narrow, okay? So just remember the number five for that one. But our first move we're getting started with is that shuffle and drop on my count. We go in less than 10 seconds. Super quick feet all the way down to the floor, chest, stomach, on the ground. Three, two, one. Shuffle. Down. Up. 
down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, last three, two, one, very good, iron crosses. Slow this down. That was our cardio move right there, okay? So take it easy on this. Let's build strength. Three, two, one. Here we go. If you need to, after every repetition, bring your arms down and then bring them back up. Just like that. Perfectly fine. You don't have to keep your arms out there. Hopefully none of you need your shoulders later today. Because you should be feeling it already. 20 seconds left. Power up through those heels. Breathe. Two, one, weights down. Single leg chair, five pulses, narrow squat, five pulses, other leg, and repeat. Three, two, one, here we go. Remember those variations. You can just have your heel up, press it on your foot, or bring it all the way up to that knee or even that shin. Whatever works to get you to kind of balance and focus on that one leg at a time, that's what I want. After your five, for either one, the chair or the narrow, you can stand up. You don't have to stay down low. Push that butt back. Send those hips back. Weight in those heels. Transition it away from the balls of your feet or else you're gonna fall like I am right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. All right, round two, 45 seconds. Shuffle and drop on my count. Three, two, one. Down right away. Up. Down. Up. Don't just be on those toes. Get those heels down. Down. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. Last three, two, one, iron crosses. Three, two, one, here we go. Halfway. Last five. 
three, two, one, weights away. Single leg chair, narrow squat, five ball. Three, two, one, here we go. You feel like you're falling. You're not sitting back on those heels enough. Push your butt back. Pull your shoulders back. That's why you can stand up and reset. Last five. Three, two, one. Here we go. Shuffle and drop. 30 seconds. Last round for everything. Three, two, one, shuffle, down, up, 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 three. Two, one, good job. Here we go, 30 seconds of these air iron crosses. And you're done with them. Three, two, one, let's go. Drop that butt down, get low. Three, two, one, weights away. Back to our fives. Three, two, one, here we go. Last three, two, one. Take your break, and then we'll come back for circuit three. I'm gonna walk over our moves. Our first one, we've got catcher's burpees. So these are our burpees where we don't come up all the way. When you come up after you jump out into that plank position, you stop right about here. What I want to add to this, once you get into that catcher's position, is four punches. Right, left, right, left, hands down, jump back up into that high plank, jump right back into it, right, left, right, left. Nice forceful jabs. Keep those shoulders back and lean back in those heels so that doesn't send you forward. And we've got a nice, good, strong torso. Our next one then, 10 mountain climbers to 10 plank hops. So we're in that high plank position, 10 total, so five each leg, and then hold that high plank. And those plank hops are both feet when we're in that high plank, hopping like so. So 10 total mountain climbers, 10 plank hops, and then right back into those mountain climbers. And then our last one, your one heavy dumbbell that you have for upper body. You are going to stay on your right side for the first 30 seconds. You're gonna do two single arm rows. On that second one, keep it tucked in, stand up, and two hammer curls. Keep it tucked in, send it back for two. 
So you're kind of doing two and a half when we keep it tucked in like that. So two single arm rows, keep it tucked in, stand up nice and tall, drop it for two hammer curls. Keep it tucked in, send it back down. At 30 seconds, we'll switch and we'll put that dumbbell in our left hand then. So those are our three moves for circuit three. Your first move, catcher's burpees, in that catcher's position, right, left, right, left, hop right back out into that plank. You don't jump all the way up, okay? Here we go, five, four, three, two, one, begin. When you come up for that catcher, pull those shoulders back, sit on those heels. You need to modify, you don't have to jump the legs back. Walk them back, but try to alternate which leg you send back into that plank with. Good job, 30 seconds to go, let's go, pick it up. Jump it back, four quick forceful jabs. Repeat, let's go. Keep your pace. Less than 10 seconds left. Come on, pick it up, pick it up. Three, two, one, take it down. 10 total mountain climbers, 10 plank hops. Three, two, one, here we go. Run those knees into the chest and then pin the feet and legs together for 10 close hops. If you need to modify, just walk the knees in. And then you can do five single leg taps on the right and five on the left, okay? Make this work for you. Well over halfway, let's go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. Bring it back up. Grab that one heavy. Let's work on some strength. Two rows, palms facing in, two hammer curls. Three, two, one, here we go. Take your time with this. So you're in a good stable position and we're not harming our back. So really send those hips back, nice flat back. Three, Two, one, left. Take your time on that curl in that row too. Don't just let that dumbbell drop. Slow and in control. Three, two, one, catcher's burpee into our punches. Drop down to 45 seconds. We go in three, two, one, let's go. Halfway. Come on, push your pace. Let's go. Make it quick. Three, two, one. Very good. Get ready. Ten mountain climbers, ten plank double feet hops. Three, two, one, let's go. Halfway.
three down, two, one, bring it back up, grab that heavy, a little over 20 seconds each side, but still take your time, ready, go. Breathe, two, one, other arm. Three, two, one, dumbbell down. Last round, 30 seconds. Back to our catcher's burpees with those punches. Three, two, one, here we go. Stay low on those catchers. Drop that butt, weight in the heels. You should all be lower than me. Let's go. Three, two, one, take it down. 10 and 10, climb and hop. Three, two, one, let's go. Almost there, almost there. Three, two, one, bring it up. Only 15 seconds each side. Don't rush, good form. Three, two, one, let's go. Three, two, one, other arm. Three, two, one, awesome job. All right, next up, circuit four. It's gonna be all core. And you're not gonna want your mat or your soft surface because we're gonna be seated down on the ground, but you're not gonna need any weights for it. Your moves for circuit four. Our first one, you've got flutters. So that's when you lie back flat, support that lower lumbar, legs, heels lifted just a little bit off the ground, right, left, right, left. You're gonna do 10 of those total. So five each leg. And then I want you to rotate quickly onto your stomach for 10 swimmers. So arms and legs are now moving. Rotate back for the flutters, okay? So 10 flutters, 10 swimmers. One, two, three, four, five, all the way up to 10. Then our next one, you got a seesaw alternating leg raise, rush and twist. So you're gonna lean it back. One heel is down, the other one straight up. Cross, cross, switch. Cross, cross, and then switch. So right to left, leg up, and then alternate with that leg that's up. And then our last one, we've got plank high fives, just like if it was you know safe to give people high fives again. We're gonna be in a nice high plank, act like someone's in front of you, and you cross arms to give them high fives. So right goes off to the left, left goes off to the right. 
Those are our three moves. Let's get started with our flutters and our swimmers. 10 and 10. Three, two, one. Here we go. Laying it all the way back flat. Flutter those legs and then flip it over for swimmers. At your own pace, from your back to your stomach. Really squeeze that lower back on those swimmers. Less than 10 seconds left. Three, two, one. Very good. All right, sitting on our bottoms, leaning it back in that seesaw position, just like we were for that shoulder press in circuit one. One leg up, one leg bent and down. Three, Two, one, here we go. One leg up, twist, twist, switch that leg, keep your arms where they're at, twist, twist. You wanna up the intensity, that heel that's down when that one leg's up, Get that heel just to hover up above the ground so you don't have that heel down. That is going to activate your core even more, make you work even harder. You push yourself how you can. Ten seconds left. Three, two. One, very good, let's all flip it over, plank, high fives. Try to swivel those hips open, right crosses the left, left crosses the right. Three, two, one, here we go. If you need to modify, you've got that quadruped position, pull that belly button in tight, but knees are just down on the ground. When you set your hands back down, try to set them back down directly below that shoulder. Don't let them get farther and farther away from you. We wanna stay in that pillar. Ooh, I touched my sweaty shoulder. Now I'm slipping, sliding. 20 seconds left. If you need to, widen your base. Step your feet out a little wider than they are. Whatever you need to do to stabilize those hips so they're not moving too much. Three, two, one. Back to flutters and swimmers, 45 seconds, 10 each. Three, two, one, here we go. Flex the feet on those flutters. Almost done, five seconds left. Three, two, one. Onto that C-sit, alternate that single leg raise. Add that Russian twist. Three, two, one, here we go. Good job, just over halfway.
Three, two, one, flip it over. Plank high fives. Three, two, one, here we go. No one said you have to rush those high fives either. Hold that plank for a little bit. Get that balance back. Especially when you have to go to that tripod position with just two legs and one arm holding you up. Less than 10 seconds left. We got one more time through these. Here we go, three, two, one. Flutters and swimmers. Three, two, one, let's go. Last three, two, one, see sit, single leg raise, add those Russian twists. We go in five, three, two, one, here we go. Drop halfway. Three, two, one, flip it over. Let's finish strong. 30 seconds with these plank high fives, and then you are done with your workout today. Three, two, one, here we go. Breathe through it, finish strong. 10 seconds left. Last three, two, one. Child's pose, full body stretch, whatever you need and have a good rest of your day.